Hello, I'm Tim, the developer of Pigs. I am going to try and get Pigs running on Windows in less than five minutes with my DVR. So here we go. Go to the Pigs website, pigs.goil.com. And I'm doing Windows, so I'm going to select Pigs on Windows. I'm not going to read any of this stuff. I am going to pick this Pigs V11 zip installer and I am not going to save it even to my uh, computer. I'm going to say open with Windows. And it opened a window on my other monitor here. See if I can bring it in here. There we go. Uh, I am going to create a folder right on my desktop, I hope. Okay, new folder. I'm going to call it pigs. My time's going. All right, back to the zip file. I'm going to double click on this folder. I'm going to control A to select all and drag all of this junk onto this pigs folder. Oh, I'm at 141. It's looking tough. I think I get to subtract two minutes for the copying process. In soccer, they just call, call that adding minutes at the end, right? Um, I'm installing on a Windows uh, 7 um, PC. I've had it for like 10 years and it works and I'm not going to upgrade. I'm going to skip all of the DNS configuration and show you that it'll work um, with basically the default IP addresses that, that my PC has. Um, I'll show you where to get that so we know what to put in pigs and we'll see if it works. I meant put in the DVR. brother my clocks at three minutes and 30 seconds Oh, all right. I am going to uh, open this pigs folder I just created. scroll down until I find this file called pigs.cmd. It's a little batch file. I'm going to double click it. It's warning me, do I want to do this? I'm going to say yes. And it opened a window over here. Let's see if I can make this bigger. 
pigs is running, uh, almost running. It it popped up a firewall alert here. Pigs is unknown. Um, should we let it run? And I'm going to say allow access. So I'm skipping all of the firewall, like pre-setup. I'm just going to say accept. Allow access. All right. Now I need to go to a browser here. So supposedly this thing's running right now. Um, and it found an IP address of my PC of 1.186 and it says it's ready. Let's see if it's really working. I'm going to go up to back to my browser window and I'm going to type the word local host which just says find me that 186 without me having to know it. And there is the pigs user interface and it's waiting for us. Uh, I need to put in my schedule direct username and password. I'm going to put this off the screen to not give away my password. And I'm gonna say, click on that verify login button And when I clicked on verify login, I got login success. All right, um, it's 632, 53593 zip code. I'm going to say preview lineup. And here are my channels. Um, there are 82 channels that came in the lineup, but I can only receive like 32 here. So I'm going to quickly, I'm going to con control, click and drag and stuff like that. 3.5. Uh, where is my next group? It's 15.5, 21. Dot, uh oh, 21.4. Where's the next group? 27. Dot there. And then the Fox Network Junk. And then the Ion TV, 32 selected. I have to say add this channel lineup. And okay, what are we going to do here? I want that stuff. I want to append the cast description. I need the DNS server so that uh, DVR can find this pink screen. Um, I'm going to accept schedule direct icons and I'm going to say save settings. And now if we look over here at the window, um, here it goes. It's out there. Let's see if I can make this a little wider. So pigs is right now going out to uh, schedule direct and it's building the the schedule and it's done I think well that was getting the uh, icons and stuff like that um, now it's building the schedule um, but while that's building the schedule let's go configure the DVR um, on the pink screen right here it's telling me that this is the IP address of my computer and pigs um, you know, we're supposed to lock down that address with a static IP, but honestly, even if you boot your computer every day, I bet it comes up with the same IP because your re router remembers it for a day or two. Okay, here we go on the DVR. Okay, I got to try and switch over to the webcam so you can see my DVR. Let's see if that works. Here we go. So here is my TV and my DVR. I'm going to hit the menu button on the DVR. I'm holding this webcam in my hand so I'm going to settings. I'm going to go to network and right now I'm on the I'm going to go to advanced and you can see that I have a, a DH, a dynamic IP, not a static IP um, but I need to, so my IP address for the DVR that was given out automatically is 151. And this is the number I need to change. This DNS is going to tell DVR plus to look at that pink screen to get its schedule instead of going out to channel master. So the first thing I need to do is disable the auto setup. And now you see, I have to fill in these address. I'm going to use that 151. I'm not even going to try and find a static or a fixed IP I can use. I'm just going to use the one that it had. So here we go. I got to type on the keyboard 1 
9.2.168. Not working because <laughs> I got to be in there. Here we go. 1.92.168. Dot one dot I think it was 151 wasn't it and I'm gonna I hit enter and I gotta I'm gonna leave the subnet mask the way it was gateway address I'm gonna leave primary DNS I need to change to what was on the other screen that was one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot I think it was 186. We'll check that in a minute here. 86. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to go down to. Can you see that confirm button down there? There we go. So going down and I'm going to hit confirm. And if we wait a second, we see internet status connected and hopefully it'll stay that way all right so DVR is ready I'm gonna get the DVR ready for a, I got to do a manual guide refresh so I'm gonna back out of the thing the menu one level I'm gonna go to channel setup antenna channels I'm gonna go down here I'm not gonna hit this yet though because I want to show you what happens on the other side so All right, back over here. Let's go back to the screen. All right. So, uh, we can check and see if um, the DVR is talking to pigs at all right now. If I click on pig status here, it's gonna pull up this window. And, oh yeah, this is a little bug I haven't fixed yet. Um, we'll do it a different way to see if it's working. Um, and did I get that address right? Yes, 1.168 is right there. All right, let's go back over to the little terminal window. And we can see that um, the schedule is built and supposedly the DNS uh, to listen to DVR is ready to go. Um, we saw the status request right here that when I just clicked on that thing. I'm going to now initiate the guide refresh that we were sitting on. And um, within about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, we should start seeing um, requests coming in here. I don't know if I can get this window a little bigger. Doesn't seem to, aha! And there we go. So, uh, the DVR came over here and it asked for the zip code and it asked for the programs and it sent a bunch of icons over here. Uh, and now it's requesting the scheduled data. Uh, it's downloading it to the DVR right now and you can see it's coming from DVR 151. Um, and it is now on request count seven. You can see the time here, um, 2020 10 6 at 8 p.m. It's already doing two days forward from now. So let's go back over to the DVR and see if we can see what pigs actually does. I'm at 13 minutes, not bad for five minutes, right? So we'll see if the camera will go back over to the webcam. And I'm going to say uh, exit out of the, oops, the DVR is down there. I'm going to bring up the guide. And the first thing we see is we have different icons over there. They're different than channel masters. But here's the coolest thing. Watch this. I'm on a channel. I'm going to hit info. Info. We, we see that the description is now changed. It says new for new programs. Um, and I'm going to go to something else. Uh, see if we can find something that's not I want to find an episode thing for you. NCI Los Angeles, there it was. Okay. I'm going to hit info. And look at that. It tells us the episode name. It tells us season 8, episode 8, 
first aired in 2016. It's got a lot of description. Uh, it's got a cast list. Um, so pigs, you don't see any of that junk on uh, Channel Master data. You don't even get Channel Master data anymore. Um, but that's how you know if it is. The other thing you can do is um, if we if I scroll down through the the list of channels here, I'm going to find one that uh, I think. Um, so channel 15.4 right here did not have an icon available and so um, I put up a little pink pig so if you see any pink pigs icons it means an icon wasn't available and so we filled it in uh, if we go back over to the uh, thing here right at the very beginning when the schedule started building there was a list of the I'm going back Here's all the icons. Oh, it's auto scrolling down, so I can't get it. At the top, there was a list of icons, and one of them was Pink Pig. So there you go. Uh, I actually did it in 16 minutes and 17 seconds um, um, from, from download to install to my DVR updating. Let's see if I can get this uploaded to YouTube.